Welcome, everyone, to Tucson, Arizona, Arizona Stadium, where this red and blue crowd ready to bear down with their Wildcats. Today, a couple of squads here to square off in a Big 12 showdown. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off of my week, the Houston Cougars. Taking on a team who is rested and ready, coming off a of bye, the Arizona Wildcats. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Arizona will kick off to get things underway. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. The Cougars' offense takes the field for the first time today. Here he comes, and obviously defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. He'll pull it on the read. And how about that interior defense stuck in the run for nothing? Really nice job by the defense shutting down all the options. Don't let him get into his reading phase. Go get him right now, play sound, and more importantly, tackle him and get him on the ground. Trying to pick it up on the ground. He'll have enough to move the chains. It's first down at the 38. And I think on that last run play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team and we're going to run the football even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They got the ball at midfield. I expect to see more run plays coming up. Caught in the backfield, it's Johnson. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. I don't know if that's the coverage you want to be throwing wide receiver screens against. Oftentimes, you want the receivers to have some access. You want the DBs to be off a couple yards so you can help set up the blocks and give the receiver somewhere to go with it. It's hard to run that against press coverage, and they only picked up a few yards there. They made the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, Reese. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out, let's get some positive yards, and then get to third down, and we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the yards over there. It's a really good sign if you're on offense here. You're putting it on your offensive line on third down. Critical down and distance, opening drive of the game. Let those guys fire off, get a hat on a hat. You can run the ball, pick up the first. You're around midfield, and all things looking pretty good. He smashes his way through again. Just carving up this defense and getting it down to the 24. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but you've got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. And when you play defensive, man, it's all about getting off the football. You can tell he gets off the football really fast, gets in the backfield, gets the running back before he knows what hit him. What a play by the defensive end. He's just outside the 20-yard line, stopped at the 21 after a pickup of six. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. Throws to the wideout. Snagged in the middle, it's Johnson. Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. And that's a really good example of a quarterback and his intended target both being on the same page. The timing was almost perfect on that play. That's why they were able to convert the third down, now setting up first and goal. The pitch. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Cougar! 
Well, they wanted to turn the page after losing their last game. So how about you come out in this one? On the opening drive, you march the field 75 yards and put six on the board. You can't start a game better than that. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He's got great speed. He's on the loose. Wide open, and it's a foot race. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Arizona. Boy, nothing electrifies a stadium quite like a return for a touchdown. It's always so exciting because you don't see them very often. you got to go so many yards, 80, 90 yards at a time. What a great job by the returners, showing the speed, providing the electricity. There's a reason they're all jacked up. It's because of that awesome kickoff return. Getting set for the point after. Right down the middle. What a return that one was. 95 yards. He took it back for six. After that latest answer tied things up. Just about set to kick it away again. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. The Houston offense ready to go back to work. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -to -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's got it again. Forges ahead, picks up about three to the 29. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But you got to do a great job game tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one, they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. Running back searching for a hole. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. It's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Leaves it with the running back. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? Smith wants to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. Breaks a tackle and he's got room. He'll work his way down to the 28. Houston wants to play fast. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long gains. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Cougars. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback and wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. So the Arizona Wildcats offense will get the ball for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. 
They'll leave it with him. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. You know, with defense, it's this paper poison game, right? Like, I got to play a little bit soft and make them run the football. But when I do that, I give the running back space. And right there, you could tell he takes advantage of it. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Got it in the middle. It's Murphy. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get on the same page. You could tell they were, and that's why they got them. And the quarterback is snowed under. The Wildcats will have to send out the punt team. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. A low line drive and short kick. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. The fair catch just inside the 40. Here comes the Houston offense once again. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Movement here from the tight end. On the ground, it's Jenkins. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. He'll do it himself. The Cougars get enough to move the chains. How great is it to be an offensive coordinator having a quarterback like this? Because he can go and generate first downs with you throwing the ball and running the ball. It seems like there's nothing this kid can't do. The hand to the running back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. Now on third down for this offense. Smith dropping to pass. Fires to the big fella. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. Now, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Dialing up a second down pass play. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. What a hit by the defender. That's a good throw, and that was going to be caught. But how about the defender dislodging the football from its intended target? Nice job. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Going for the big play. Makes the catch. They get him stopped at the two, but it'll be first and goal. All right, you gave up the big play defense. I know they got a big chunk, but they didn't get in the end zone. You live to fight another day. Now you got to bow your necks up and make this stop inside the five. Someone not clear on the snap count. It'll be a false start, and they'll move it back. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Houston has it with a first and goal. Single, single. Snap in the shotgun. They're working that left side. Gets it into the end zone, but there's a flag down. We'll see if this one is coming back. So they'll decline the penalty, please, with the results of that last play. They'll try to add another to their lead. 
And the extra point puts them on top 21 to 7. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Houston, 21, Arizona. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Offense set on first down. Trying to turn the corner on the jet sweep. And they make the stop, and that will likely bring us to the end of the first quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and Houston has the lead. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. They largely dominated the first quarter and built a nice lead to get started. We'll start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. Back to throw, it's Fafita. He's right on target. And he gets it up to the 36, it'll be a first down. Arizona right back to the line. Good job by the receiver there, not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback could throw him the ball. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And listen, the quarterback drops back, and he's going through his progressions. We see zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. The first down sack pushes the ball back to this long second down. Shakes off the tackler. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. This offense really needs to get something going. Hunt on the opening drive, and now a third and ten coming up. Unloads to the wideout. And it's incomplete on third down. And the quarterback and receiver just not on the same page on that last play. Timing has got to be so critical, especially when you're throwing the perimeter of the field, and they just didn't have it there. Waves the arm for the fair catch, and the catch is made close to the 30-yard line. Houston sending the offense back onto the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute them. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and force a tackle for a loss. Found that space and picked up six out to the 33. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited. The fans are going crazy. But those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter quickly complete he's run out of bounds but not before turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down the cougars come to the line with a fresh set of downs wants to throw on first down off the play fake and here's a fumble way behind the line the defense scoops it up and they're bringing it back you know, as quarterbacks, you've got to be good in the pocket. Even when things are collapsing and you've got guys swiping at it, you've got to have two hands on the football. Didn't do a really good job with ball security there, and that led to the fumble. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, and David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion, so everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get them out of the spot. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Feeling some heat. Nowhere to go with the ball, and down he goes at the 39. And they'll pat the kicker on the tail and tell him to go give it a shot. He says he's got a big leg. He's going to have to show it from 56 yards out.
and he missed it. No good. And after the miss, it's still a 14-point game. Man, that kicker came inches away from hitting a PB. That thing almost cleared the crossbar. Wow. To the ground with the back. Steam rolls his way ahead. He stopped at the 49 after gaining 10. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. Right back to the well. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast, low. And the offensive linemen, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. A third and long coming up here. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Grabbed in the middle. It's knee. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Houston sends the punt team onto the field. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. Wants to return it. They'll get him corralled and down at about the 19-yard line. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say, maybe I go for it more. But, Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. They're setting up the screen. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Looking for a man. It's Fafita. He hurls one deep down the left side. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety. Time running out, and he goes down at the 34. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they are ready to go again. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. Now, they missed a field goal on the last drive, but you need to get points here, so they need to pick up some yardage to at least get in range for their kicker. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense. And now it's fourth down. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Is Colorado ready for prime time or what? Ralphie and company are running away with this one right now. They're up 14 over Utah. Your boy KC has you covered here in studio, guys, in case anything changes in this one. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. To the air on first down. Got the quick pass. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. I love the anticipation on that throw by the QB on the out route. you got to throw it before the receiver comes out of his brain. Nice work. Got some of the work done on first down. Let's see what they have on second down. Smith wants to throw. 
and it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. You know, it's difficult for QBs sometimes when you're throwing to your running backs because they're not receivers. You really got to be perfect with the ball placement. You got to make that a catchable throw. A little bit too tough for the RB on that one. Couldn't find his man last time. That leaves him with a third and six. From the gun, wants to pass. He'll heave it deep. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. Houston will be forced to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He gets a block. Before he goes out of bounds and what a way to build a little momentum. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. Running out of time here in the first half, and they do have a chance to make this a one possession game. And so you gotta locate your best players and get them the football on this drive. You're down in the game. There's obviously a lot of football left, David, but on this drive, in this two-minute situation, best players got to touch the ball. And this could get into pressing mode, right? Like you go into the half, down a couple of scores, it starts to, the pressure really, really mounts. Good opportunity to take some of that pressure off, get some momentum, energize this squad going into halftime. That completion leaves us with second and medium. He's looking to throw. And the pass is incomplete, charred loose by the hit. And the big tight end, a lot of times that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude, and you could tell they put the hit on him, and that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. Third and short from the 22. Is the field goal unit getting ready, or is this already four down territory? Back to pass, it's Fafita. Fires to the wideout. What a snag by the defense. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Really nice focus by this sophomore, and he jumped on his chance to make a play. The Houston offense comes onto the field. They've got time, they've got the lead, and David is sort of like a doctor. First, do no harm. Do no harm, but also momentum is hard to create and sometimes hard to stop. You have it, so Jesse, don't do anything stupid to create some momentum for the other side. I think a lot of this comes down to your quarterback and whether or not he's making good decisions in this game. If yes, be aggressive. If not, let's just take the lead into halftime and get ready for the second half. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Got his man! Running into the open space. Run out of bounds just before he could get it into the end zone, and now they're set up first and goal. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact, so it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground. Touchdown, Houston! Hello! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. The mantra is always finished, and they're trying to do that here in the regular season with this Week 12 performance. When these offenses get in a rhythm, they're hard to stop. Already up early, got a short field, take advantage of it too, get another touchdown. This offense is doing whatever they want to do and having a lot of success. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. Now, they're backed up here, Jesse. Wonder how aggressive they're willing to be. I think it's going to come down to how much confidence they have in this quarterback and his decision-making because you cannot throw an interception at this part of the field with this little time left. And I think that's conversations you've had with the young fellow on the sidelines being like, what are you comfortable with right here that we can run? Maybe stay aggressive, but make sure I don't make that mistake. Trucks through the defender. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. They're bringing heat. He's going to take off. 
They make the stop, and that is the end of the first half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellows, many thanks. Happy to provide a break in the action to kind of pour over exactly what has transpired so far. And we'd be remiss if we didn't start this halftime report by acknowledging the sparkling play of this tight end. The guy's like an aircraft carrier out there as a blocker. And then when he releases and shows off that speed and route running, he's almost unguardable. Gotta believe he won't be able to go anywhere in this second half without someone attached to his hip. Just about set to start the second half. Houston will kick it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. They start this third quarter in a big hole, and they have to start climbing out right now. And they're going to have to be really aggressive, Reese. Like, this offense, when I'm playing from behind, every possession means so much more. And if you look the other side, the defense, they haven't given much resistance. Yeah, nothing has gone their way in the first half offensively. And you know now, based on how this defense is playing with their confidence, that you are going to be challenged on every single snap. So buckle up, get your mind right, and get ready to come back in this game. Well, you wonder if one of the adjustments they made at halftime trailing in this game was to try and get the ground game established, David. They're off to a good start here. Dang right. Stay patient. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to press. Just try to get scoring drives together. Don't abandon the run. And he finds some solid space. Makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. The Wildcats pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Quarterback checking off. To the air, it's Fafita. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Offense gets set for second down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down, or else they are really in trouble. Quick strike complete. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. Yeah, he was able to make one guy miss, but he had to make two in order to pick up that first down. It was a nice individual effort, just not enough. The give and the run on fourth down. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on downs. The Houston offense ready to go back to work, looking for a productive play on first down. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push and just kind of give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. The sweet feet by a little time. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. As a defensive end, trust me, I was a defensive end, I can tell you. You start getting a little lathered up. Now you got your second sack. It's only the third quarter. Your eyeballs are getting big. This is going to be one of those days. I'm going to get me three. I'm going to get me four. Shoot, I might even get me five. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yards. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. Tackled immediately after the catch. It's hard to have success on wide receiver screens when you're facing press man coverage because your blockers out front oftentimes can't pick him up, and that receiver gets gobbled up as soon as he catches the pass. You saw it on that last play. And he gets the first down, but man, did he get the hit stick laid on his noggin. You have some success with the bootleg, and now you got the defense on their heels a little bit in this run game because they're not sure who's got the ball. Is it going to be the running back? Is the quarterback booting and keeping it himself? Could you play action and maybe throw it? Nice job mixing and matching the play calling here offensively. Well, he chews up yards, doesn't he? That was really quick. Really decisive design quarterback runs are, are very difficult to stop, and you can tell he's got some ability to make big plays, and thank goodness they got him on the ground, and there wasn't a bigger play than it could have been. 
and they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. Yeah, it's a nice job by this defense. Understand this, and that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that separate. Trying to wear down this defense, the seventh play of the drive, it's third and one. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. They'll make the stop, but the chains will move. It's a first down for Houston. And that's a welcome sight. Like, this offense has really, really struggled. Bottom 50 in college football in first down. So they'll take anything they can get. Nice third down conversion. Let's get some positive plays. Keep it third and short. Find a way to get this offense in an upward trajectory because so far this season, they've really struggled. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground cover. Pick up the first. Now on second down. Smith dropping to pass. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. They probably feel good about their field goal chances from the 29, but they'd love to convert this third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. Now sliding to his left. Kept it, and he's passed the marker. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Nice job by the QB, sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home, take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. Throws to the wideout. Snags it. He's down at the one, and they almost had the touchdown pass on that one. And the Cougars trying to cash it in on first and goal. Looking to throw. Fires into the end zone. He was open, he had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. Sometimes as a quarterback, when you're feeling the rhythm and you're feeling yourself, you just want to keep taking shots, right? This guy's already thrown three touchdown passes. He saw a look he liked, decided to let her fly. Haven't seen a lot of balls fall. Touchdown, Houston. And the route is on. This game must be moving so slowly for this quarterback. He sees everything two or three beats ahead way ahead. I mean, it's been, it's been really, really easy. I better get some more hits on him. I better do something to make him feel uncomfortable, because right now it's just like, oh, you're running that? Yeah, that's easy. I mean, he's, he's already read your mail. You, you better change the address, do something different. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Arizona has it back the offense, coming out to bear down. He's got the back in the middle. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. And the Wildcats will hustle to the line. Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the football is. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. Touchdown, Houston. The defense takes matters into their own hands. The defense striking with a scoop and score touchdown. And defense is about getting guys to the football. Sometimes you just get that hit, the ball pops out, more guys swarm into the football. Great effort. Scoop that thing up. Now do some damage with it. You always wanted to play offense anyways. Convert that defensive player, offensive player. Give me that six. This drive will start at their own 27-yard line. They'll try the run. And this one will be stopped for no game. Back. Really good play by this defense. Seeing it, attacking it, going and getting it. Obviously, they're running the RPO. They weren't fooled. They played the run, came up, made a nice tackle, got the running back on the ground. They're trying to go option. And they're trying to put that defensive end in a bind, but he's just way too athletic, and he guessed right. The quarterback was keeping the ball. He knew it and was able to make the tackle in the backfield. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. Arizona runs out the punt team. I wouldn't quite call it a shank, but that's not exactly going to go on the resume reel. Here comes the Houston offense once again. 
This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they've wanted to do, build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect them. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out everybody right now on the same page. They'll line up for a second down play. Smith wants to throw. Flushed out of the pocket. He was able to squirt free and pick up just a few on that one. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nor for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. Unloads to the wideout. Wide open downfield. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. And with that pass right there, over 300 yards. That's a good day at the office. Being able to execute, doing a good job seeing what's coming, anticipating, taking some shots today, but has held really strong, put up some good numbers. Dropped after a pickup of three down to the 26. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Fires to the wideout. And that pass picked off. Well, they didn't let him get loose for a big return, but he still made the big play, and they'll take over at the 17. Line gets set, first down. They go to the ground. He found a hole, got about five. He's down at the 21. I think one of the hardest things to do is stick to the run when it's not working. But it's those runs right there that are the reason why you have to do it, right? You can't get too one-dimensional. Keep slipping those runs in there. Keep getting a little bit of positive yards. Next thing you know, you look up and you might break one of those after you got them a little bit tighter. You can sense the frustration building on the field and on the sideline for this team because on paper, they're the better team. From a player standpoint, from a record standpoint, Things just not going their way in this game, and someone's going to have to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. He is brought down, but man, what a job to find some running room and move the chains. Wants to throw on first down. Trying to make magic with his feet. And they'll drag him down. That's likely the last play of the third quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and Houston has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. To the air, it's Fafita. Looking to scramble. He'll pull it down and run. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Sometimes these guys just have eyes in the back of their head. You saw it right there. He was able to buy himself time, get outside the pocket, and at that point, I think the decision was pretty easy. Hey, I can go get this with my feet. He was able to do that. Now they got a fresh set of downs. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. Arizona in a hurry. Here's the handoff. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, this offense, man, they just continue to struggle. And just, they need to find something that they do really, really well. And running the football late in the fourth quarter when you're getting beat by a good bit, that's probably not it. This offense needs to hit the gas, and they need to pitch and catch a little bit, throw the football around. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Big moment here for the defense. Can you come up with one more stop? You've got the lead. It's fourth and short. You're kind of in no man's land, so you're expecting them to go for it. If you can get off the field right here, you can win this game. And that decision will be questioned for a while. From the gun, the give, looking for room. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Stopping the run is about physicality. It's about I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you up front. Really nice job by the defense. Showing their strength, bowing up, stuffing the run. 
He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and leading the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Oh, he dropped the football. He had it right in the middle of the field and just ran before he finished the catch. It'll be fourth down. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. There have been a couple of missed opportunities for these offenses in the last couple of drives, Jesse. And I think for this offense here, it'd be nice to hit an explosive play, be aggressive, and really pay off your defense's effort that last drive. And instead of having to move the ball down the field consistently and then getting stopped on fourth downs, you're right. Correct. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. How about this defense? No mercy. Like, listen, I know we're up big, but they are still hunting, still flying around, still chasing, still making life really miserable for this offense. Grab near the marker. It's McMillan. Able to work it to the 39-yard line, and that'll be a first down. The Wildcats come to the line with a new set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. Trying to make magic on the scramble. It's a fumble! That football must be riveted to your rib cage. How can you let it go? At least they fell on it. The ball security doesn't just apply to running backs and receivers. QB's got to keep two hands on the ball as well. And they're very lucky after that fumble that the offense jumped them. You always want to give your big-time players a chance. That might have been too much of a chance to give right there. And, and I know I'll give you a chance when it's one-on-one, -on -one, but not two-on-one. You got to see that, got to understand that they're trying to take away this guy. There's a reason they're trying to take him away. What else can I do now to take advantage of that defense? Well, he does a really nice job buying time, and I love the awareness there, understanding no one's open downfield, knowing where the sticks are, and he's able to use his athleticism to get that first down. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. He makes a catch. Makes a grab at the six-yard line. It's first and goal. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. Touch pass on the run. Wildcats! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. Once the game reaches this point, you start thinking ahead and how you can find something positive to take into the next game. That's right. Keep the offense rolling. Try to find some plays that I can use throughout this season that I can have some more success or, I guess, have success. I haven't had a lot of success today, but I'm looking for the future. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Looking for a productive play on first down. They'll keep it on the ground to keep this clock moving. Nudges ahead for one out to the 16. They're strong and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quick. So third and short from inside the 20. You convert here, and this drive takes on a different complexion. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the tight end. Caught over the middle. It's York. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and 10. On the run, it's knee. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Most offensive schemes are predicated on first down productivity. That will not go down as a productive first down play. No, it will not, Reese. Give this defensive line credit because they were able to get penetration right off the snap and force a negative play. Timeout. 
call there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. And you just won't see a more effective punt than that out of bounds inside the five-yard line. They're backed up, first and ten from inside their own five. Let's see if they can create some space. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. They'll give it to the back. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Third and short, they've got them back up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. He lost it high and deep down the left side. A sensational grab down the field there as they try to at least put a positive spin on the end of this game. And he slipped through the crowd, and he'll house it. Touchdown, Arizona. And a nice touchdown. Continuing to fight, continuing to play. This one, it's pretty much over. Down multiple possessions this late in the football game. It would take a miracle. A nice job by this offense. Continuing to fight, push the ball down the field, make plays. They'd hope to get that thing bouncing around, but the hands team is able to corral it. Yeah, and this is why you put your hands team on the field most of the time you, when you know it's coming and you put those guys that are great catchers of the football. The first guys, what do they do? They go block. They go blow somebody up. The next guys catch the football, secure it, get your butt on the ground. And most of the time when you do this, the ball game is over. You know, there's no real reason to panic, but if you think about it, when does panicking ever really help? But certainly this was a bitterly disappointing outcome. And you can look at a lot of different statistics, and I know we tend to overcomplicate college football these days, but guys, at the end of the day, it comes down to two very simple things. You can't turn the ball over, and you can't have penalties. You do those things, David, and it'll beat you every time. That's the difference between winning and losing. It's the small things, but find those things that you need to improve on, keep working on them, keep developing. Those things you do well, dude, let's do those. Let's do more of those things more consistently. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.